Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Just a couple months, Apple CEO Tim Cook stated that his company stays out of politics, but that is an outright lie. Every chance Cook gets he is taking a swipe at President Trump and America in general. If Cook isn't calling the United States racist, he is railing against Trump for withdrawing from the Paris Climate Accord, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. Cook has also shown his hypocrisy by working with Communist China announcing that Apple will remove its virtual private network, VPN, services from its app store in the totalitarian country, and in the same breath slam Trump for stifling free speech. For those who do not understand what a VPN is and why it matters this is a quick breakdown. A VPN allow users to bypass China's so-called Great Firewall aimed at restricting access to overseas sites, according to Reuters. TechCrunch has more. The App Store purge is hugely impactful because VPNs represent the only way that a China-based individual can bypass state censorship controls to access the Internet without restrictions. The Chinese government effectively illegalized VPNs when new rules issued in January required them to receive government approval in order to operate. So, by Cook removing the very tool that people in China could use to access information and then criticize Trump is rather hypocritical. And, yet Cook says that he and his company stay out of politics. With all that said about the ultra-liberal tech company's president, it makes perfect sense that Cook would hire others that share his radical liberal beliefs. Enter stage left Lisa Jackson, Apple's vice president of environment, policy, and social initiatives and also a former Obama official. Surprise, surprise, right? During a recent interview in Australia, Jackson took the opportunity to attack President Trump and the man appointed to fill her spot in the administration. Here is more from NTK Network. A top Apple executive and former Obama official attacked the Trump administration in an interview with an Australian news outlet. Lisa Jackson, Apple's vice president of environment, policy and social initiatives blasted President Trump and his administration in a recent interview with News.com. Jackson told the overseas outlet that it was hard to watch Trump's presidency after years of working for President Obama at the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. Ms. Jackson is clearly troubled by the political direction of her country. I think our leadership, American leadership in the world, remains important and will be missed, she said. According to the Australian outlet, Jackson also criticized the man Trump appointed to run the EPA, Scott Bruin. Apple's decision to allow a member of its executive leadership team to criticize the president with a foreign outlet is a continuation of a troubling pattern for the U.S. tech giant. CEO Tim Cook regularly spars with Trump in the news and has appeased authoritarian regimes like the one in China in order to broaden Apple's markets. Apple's actions are about as far from Trump's America first mantra as a company can get. Now, in all fairness, no one is saying that Cook or Jackson cannot have their own personal feelings on the president, but to air that out on a global stage is disgusting. First of all, the only reason that Apple is a mega success is because of America and our free markets that have allowed them to sell their underwhelming technology at outrageously high prices. And, as mentioned before this is not the first time that Tim Cook has made controversial comments about President Trump in public, and it is pretty safe to assume it won't be the last time either. Just a few months ago, Cook penned a letter to employees at Apple and pledged millions of dollars to fight racism in America. The iPhone maker planned to donate $2 million to civil rights advocacy groups, including the highly controversial Southern Poverty Law Center. In the letter, Cook wrote, Hate is a cancer and, left unchecked, it destroys everything in its path. Again, this is just insanity and if Cook and Jackson are not happy with what America has afforded them, then why aren't they packing their bags and moving to communist China? This attitude just goes to prove that with all the money and success in the world it cannot afford someone class or common sense.
It would serve these top Apple executives well to apologize for their disrespectful comments and keep their personal views of the president to themselves sort of like Cook said he would in the past and focus on making a better product. Just saying. Share if you think that companies should refrain from publicly slamming the president on foreign soil. HT, NTK Network. Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily. Freedom Daily.